Hello guys, welcome, my name is Alice Awesome and this is back with the Ranger Show, so we are. So, I said ages ago I will do an update and I've taken so long to do it, I'm sorry. But we're back guys, we're back with some really good stuff. So, we have got uh, some uh, Power Ranger helmet kits and this is what I've been doing with my spare time. I have a green MMPR and over there I have a lovely blue MMPR that we're both working on. So, we'll get into what we're doing with it so far, the early stages. Uh, these kits here I've got from Eric0101, look him up on Facebook guys, he's a good uh, good lad, he sells these kits here for a really good price and he offers to cut out the visor, I think this one here I done myself, that one over there, the blue, there he is, uh, he done that for me, it was $10 extra, if you're not confident in doing it guys, I'd certainly get it done, he does a good job. So, first of all, what we need to do with this here is the dreaded uh, Bondo wing, so we do you guys, no one that's America's Bondo. Uh, known over here in the UK as uh, car filler, so we do. So, this is what I've been using. I have done in the past uh, on uh, my White Ranger one, I have used um, stuff called Isopon uh, P80, P38, I believe. But this one here is Ultra Smart 2K Body Filler. I got this uh, actually recently there, I got it there this morning from my local um, auto parts shop so I did so I want to see you know locally what I could get the guy gave me a good offer and this here this is the 600 gram one gave it for about six pounds so it was the 250 I think I got before was three pounds so the double up was a good offer so it was so what you do if you've known and seen is you will get these kits the Eric's kits come with a seam that goes all the way around it you can sort of see it there guys that's been just filled in a wee bit here I'm gonna sit, get the focus on this and um, this one here has been filled in actually quite nicely so it has on this one you just get a wee small sort of seam that's just a wee bit sort of rough so it is and that just you just put that on and then you're sand it down so you know it's level on either side and that's actually turned out nice um other wee bits here as you can see uh, i'm absolutely shite at doing this here i really am i need to just get it better but i've done it underneath there's a couple of wee bits i've noticed that i just need it touched up again guys and i just am going to sand them down once they're hard we're getting there so we are and um, this here is sort of how to do it properly nice and smooth that's not how to do it that is absolutely rough because my problem is i do it and then i have to keep trying to figure it uh, figure with it and just mess it up so that's what happens you put it on once you smooth it down if you go back and try and arch around with it that's what happens it just gets messed up so we will show you um what he's done but you need to sand it down guys this here bit needs a wee bit more sand and stuff like that here and um, but see that's what you're looking for just a nice smooth bit there so you are um, along there I've done just a few more wee bits to say just bits I've noticed that need it touched up some bits you'll find like little wee pinholes here so you will and um, they're just around the uh, the helmet just obviously from the casting you will just notice little wee bits but take your time guys just go over it take you know get a wee bit on wear gloves get a wee bit just rub it in your thumb sand that down and it fills in nicely so that was the green we'll go over here and let you see the blue so the blue I am pretty much happier with uh, pretty much near done. I've just done another wee bit and I'll give another sand just for that added smoothness so I have. Um, it's pretty good so it is. I'm happy enough. And there's not as much detail to sort of work with as this here on the green. This, the seam just goes all the way over. The green one sort of has a bit more to it with the sort of the thin on the top and all. Um, but this just goes down and I get this focus for you. And you can just see it's just nicely went around. Um, there's a couple of other wee pinholes and all stuff that I've filled in again just to sort of go over and make sure it looks nice. So as I say I'm absolutely crap at bonding guys and um, I'm going to try my best to get better at it. Once I get better at it I'll be so happy because it's quite a step that needs to be done with a bit of care. There's a couple of bits you can do this way I've been doing just sort of putting a bit on, sort of scraping the excess off and then sand it down. Um, but then I've tried this here sort of kicking it on at the back as you can see it looks like um, icing so it does. Um, and I'll see what this is like. I know there's a good bit there, but this will get I'll get a really good sand at it and get a nice smooth um, sort of shape to it. Just make sure it looks nice and smooth. I felt that there's a wee bit sort of a bump there, so I'm just looking just around here and I'm just going to give it like a nice good smooth down. See how that turns out and see if it's the way to do it. Um, so guys, that's it for really part one. Next bit, once I've done all this here, I'm hoping then just to cut sort of where the seam is. So just I'll look on the thing, see what's more accurate. Just looking to cut the both in half. And then while I do that air, this one here goes a wee bit different though. This goes up and around the back. You should be able to see there just a wee seam. That goes around the back there. That's handy enough just to follow. Uh, and then that one has sort of the backwards compartment opens up. So that's the next step, guys. Um, as always, keep an eye out. Watch the video. Share it around. Like, comment, subscribe on anything you need to know. And thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for next stuff. Bye-bye.